So that's a question that I get all the time, is what is stomach acid and, and how does it affect your digestion? And um, to make a long story short, without going through the complicated physiology, in order for you to fully digest your proteins and extract minerals from food and from supplements as well, you need to have an acidic environment in your stomach. And so your body, in its infinite wisdom, when you eat food, when you have the, the triggering in your mouth, the saliva and the food in your mouth, it signals the stomach to start producing hydro hydrochloric acid. And if you know anything about pH, pH is a scale where you measure acidity and alkalinity. And right in the middle of the scale is seven, which is neutral, which is what water is. And at the far end, the low end of the scale is acid, and in the far high end of the scale going up to 14 is alkaline. And the stomach, in order to digest your food properly, needs to be at a pH of two. So if you don't properly secrete hydrochloric acid in your stomach, then you're not gonna be at the proper pH to be able to start the digestion of food, the digestion especially of protein and minerals. Those are two things that most important, need, importantly need a, an, an acidic environment. Well, a lot of people think that they need to eat meat in order to get protein. And yet there's a lot of people thriving on very low protein diets who are thriving on mostly fruits and vegetables. So what's going on there? Well, part of it can be genetics, um, but I think part of it is that when you don't secrete enough hydrochloric acid, your protein is inefficiently absorbed. So maybe your protein is only absorbed at 10% when you don't eat enough, you don't have enough hydrochloric acid. So in order to increase the amount of protein you actually get, you need to increase the protein. So people who claim that they do much better when they eat meat or concentrated sources of protein usually have impaired hydrochloric acid production. It's a very common problem. As we age, we tend to naturally produce a little bit less hydrochloric acid with each passing year so that when you get into your 70s, you're producing a lot less hydrochloric acid as what you did in your 20s. But nature, I believe, by design, is perfect. So I think that as we age, there are things that happen that cause us to produce less hydrochloric acid. When you have damage to the cells, they're called the parietal cells in the stomach that produce the hydrochloric acid then they can't produce as much. And ironic as this might seem, when your body system is too acidic as opposed to alkaline, so your normal blood pH is supposed to be slightly alkaline, you don't make as much hydrochloric acid. When you're deficient in the mineral zinc, you can't make as much hydrochloric acid. And it creates kind of a vicious circle because you need good hydrochloric acid production to produce to absorb zinc and you need zinc to make hydrochloric acid. So sometimes people are in the situation where you have to jump start the system and add either one or both to the mix to get it going. So getting back to some of the things that can damage the parietal cells, alcohol um, or inorganic chemicals in, in chemical pesticides and, and things like that. Various toxins have an effect on it. Um, fats, bad fats, hydrogenated or oxidized fats can cause free radical damage to the cells that line the stomach. It's said that in people who eat too much salt, it can damage the lining of the stomach and you won't produce enough hydrochloric acid. So everything's about balance. Everything's about balance. Some of the things that you can do to help your hydrochloric acid production are number one, avoiding those things that cause damage to the parietal cells. Uh, eating good fats, omega-3 rich fats. Um, and I like things like chia seeds and flax seeds and hemp seeds for my omega-3s. And then bitter foods actually stimulate your stomach to produce hydrochloric acid. So if before you sit down to a meal, you were to have a little bit of juice, uh, green juice, and it doesn't have to be a lot. A half an ounce or an ounce will do the trick. 
but it has to make your 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 mouth go mm, bitter you know that kind of retraction that we normally do from bitter and when it does that it sets up a reflex arc that stimulates the stomach to produce hydrochloric acid it also stimulates the liver and the gallbladder to make and release more bile to help with fat digestion so if you can't if you don't have a juicer can't juice you can do a number of things. You can actually get you know, one of those big salad mixes that have all kinds of greens and pick the bitterest green you can find in there. Some dandelion or arugula, nice and bitter. And just chew them and become a human juicer. Chew them really, really well till they become liquid in your mouth. And do that about 10 or 15 minutes before you have your meal. And that'll stimulate the hydrochloric acid production drinking daily lots of green juices or green smoothies with lots of extra greens helps to replenish the system. But some people are so far gone that, that even that alone doesn't do it. They need to, to stimulate the hydrochloric acid more directly. And some people need to actually take some hydrochloric acid, but I'm a little bit reticent about prescribing that too often and you got to be really careful when you do that because if you take too much you can actually cause damage you can cause too much acid to be in your stomach if you've got a disruption in the mucus production in your system and a lot of people do because they're malnourished or they've done things that damage that lining then that doesn't protect you from the hydrochloric acid so then your stomach lining can get irritated and you'll get an ulcer so it's a, it's a complex process and it's very important. So many people are eating a really high nutrient dense diet and not absorbing the food from it. And they need to focus on the hydrochloric acid. And whether that be through bitters or through taking a little bit of hydrochloric acid supplementation under the guidance of a practitioner who knows what they're doing, um, one or the other helps dramatically. The other thing that helps is eating in a calm state. When you're all stressed out, none of the digestive processes work properly. So those are some of the things you can do to help with your hydrochloric acid production and improve your digestion, which improves your mineral status and your protein status, and thus your immune system. And it's just this one big happy family of digest well and you will soon be on your way to more vibrant health.